In this video, I'll show you how to analyze data in the dashboard using our grid. I've already started by connecting the designer to a data source. To create a new grid, click the corresponding button in the ribbon. Drop the product subcategory field to the new column placeholder. The grid will display all unique subcategories from the underlying data source. Click the Options button next to the Product subcategory and you'll see that the grid automatically sets the column type to Dimension, and it automatically creates dimension columns for the string and date time fields. Drop the Sales field to the grid columns. Summarized sales corresponding to each subcategory will be displayed in the next column. Note that the type of the created column is Measure. To change the format of displayed values, click the Sales menu button, select Format, and change the format type to Currency. You can use Global Dashboard Currency settings or specify a custom currency. You can also make adjustments to the currency using the button here in the ribbon. Let's change the type of the next grid column to Delta. Drop the Sales field to Actual and Sales Target to Target. Now I'll make some adjustments to the column. First, change the value type to Percent Variation. You can also change the result indication to a warning. and I'll switch it back. Finally, set the threshold value to 0.5%. The grid dashboard item also supports sparklines, which are used to visualize different summary values over time. Drag and drop the order date field to a sparkline argument and change the group interval to quarter year. Then, drop sales to new column and change the column type to sparkline. You can also change the sparkline view type. Use the Edit Names command in the Grid Context menu to specify text displayed in the grid caption and column names. To filter the grid, use the Edit Filter command. In the Filter Editor, specify the required filter criteria and click OK to filter the grid. To reset filtering, use the Clear command. If you want to filter the grid by dimension values that do not directly take part in the visual representation of data, drop the required dimension to Hidden Data Items and add the required condition to the filter criteria. Let's look at how to sort subcategories by sales values. Click the Product Subcategory menu button and select Sort by Sales. Switch the sort order to descending. The grid also allows you to use conditional formatting to highlight its values. Let's color data cells depending on their values. Click the menu button of the Sales measure and select Add Format Rule Gradient Range, White to Blue. And click OK. Grid cells will be colored depending on their values, from blue for the largest values to white for the smallest. The Grid Dashboard item supports the Drill Down feature that also allows you to change the detail level of displayed data. Go to the Data tab and enable Drill Down. Then, add the product name column to the grid. You can click the grid row corresponding to the required subcategory to see sales for the corresponding products. Enable the Top End feature to limit the number of displayed products by 10. Use the Drill Up button in the grid caption to move to the parent level. Let's see how to add interactivity to our dashboard with the grid. Add a new chart dashboard item and bind it to the sales and customer segment fields.
select the grid, go to the data tab and enable multiple master filter. Select the required grid rows to filter the chart on the right according to the selected subcategory values. Click the Clear Master Filter button to reset filtering. You can use the Ignore Master Filters button to make the dashboard item unaffected by master filters. Let's look at different options that affect the grid's layout and style settings. To see these options, go to the Ribbon Design tab. You can manage the visibility of horizontal and vertical grid lines using corresponding buttons. Click the banded rows to paint the background of even and odd rows differently. The Column Headers button allows you to specify the visibility of column headers. Note that the tooltip is displayed for cells whose content cannot be displayed entirely. If necessary, you can enable Word Wrap to display cell content in multiple lines. The Grid Dashboard item allows you to manage column widths using different modes. Auto Fit to Grid adjusts the width of all columns to fit their content in an optimal way. In Auto Fit to Contents mode, the grid adjusts columns to the minimum width required to completely display their content automatically. If the entire content cannot be displayed within the dashboard item, horizontal scrolling is enabled. The manual mode allows you to specify the width of the columns individually. Right click the subcategory column header and select fit to content to fit the column width into its content. Specify the width of the sales column manually by dragging the right edge of the column header and fix their width. Finally, Fix the width of the trend sparkline column and change the width of the grid item to see the result. And that's it. If you have any more questions or you want to learn more, make sure to uh, click on the link below to check out our documentation. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.